In this unit circle survival guide, we'll look at the exact value of the secant of 3 pi over 2. And we're going to use a simplified version of the SARC method because we're dealing with an angle that is a quadrantal. And all that means is that its terminal side falls in an axis. So we get to cut out some of the steps that have to do with angles that fall in quadrants and having to decide um, if things are positive or negative, sketching out reference triangles to get the coordinates. We'll be able to do it in a much simpler way. Um, so we'll simplify SARC to S and C for our quadrantal angles. So here's the template we'll work from. First, we'll sketch our angle's terminal side, we'll get the coordinates, and then C, we'll calculate our trig ratio. So we're finding the secant of 3 pi over 2. So let's go ahead and sketch our angle. It's in radians and it's a positive angle, so we'll rotate counterclockwise. So we have 0, pi over 2, pi, and here's 3 pi over 2. All right, so remember we're working from the origin here. We're on the unit circle. Here's our terminal side. And we know the radius of the unit circle is one. So it's very easy to find the coordinates of this point here. We move down a unit. So the coordinates will work from our zero, negative one. All right, and now we can calculate the secant. So remember the secant is just the reciprocal of cosine. And on the unit circle, the cosine is the x coordinate. So the secant ratio must be 1 over x. OK, so as we try to calculate here, x is 0, so we have 1 over 0, which of course we know doesn't work. That means it's undefined, and so our exact value is undefined. OK, if you're familiar with the secant graph, one interesting thing to notice here, so the graph of y equals secant x will actually have a vertical asymptote at 3 pi over 2. So that's the connection between having an exact value that's undefined and an asymptote, a vertical asymptote on a graph. And that's really all there is to it. Um, for more examples for both quadrantals and um, the normal angles, um, and for finding the exact values, be sure to check the video description. Um, I'll post a lot of links there. Thanks for watching.